a quality 20 degree down bag that is under $200. Hey guys, Steven here with My Life Outdoors. Today I'm talking about the Echo Trail 20 degree down sleeping bag, which has got me wondering, what is the most important feature in a sleeping bag? And I think most people would say it's the temperature rating. That is, how cold it can be outside and the bag will still keep you warm. Because if you think about it, that's really the reason why you buy a sleeping bag in the first place, to keep you warm when it's cold outside. Otherwise, you could really save some weight. Not a bad idea. But temperature ratings are confusing. Like the Echo Trail 20, for instance. The 20 degrees is the advertised temperature rating of the sleeping bag. But this bag did not receive a 20 degree rating from the International Organization for Standardization. Boy, that's a mouthful. So here are a few things you need to understand about temperature ratings. The new international standard measures sleeping bags at three different limits. The comfort rating, the limit, and the lower limit ratings. The Echo Tro 20 has a comfort rating of 28 degrees, which means that the average woman with one layer of clothing on will sleep comfortably in the bag at that temperature. According to the standards, women typically feel colder than men when sleeping in identical sleeping bags. The Echo Trail's limit is rated at 16 degrees, which according to the standard, the average man will feel slightly chilled at that temperature, probably curled up in a ball, trying to stay warm, but not shivering and not really in danger of hypothermia. The lower limit is negative 17, which is a temperature where you're really pushing the limits of this bag, possibly even sustaining damage from hypothermia. Now, since this is marketed as a man's bag, the North Face has labeled the bag as a 20 degree bag, which is in between the limit and the comfort rating and is probably somewhat accurate. As for me, I've slept in the bag in the low to mid 30s and just a shirt and my underwear and I was, well, I was plenty warm. Features. Now, some of the features on this bag to help you regulate the warmth, the Echo Trail has a long zipper that extends across the top of the feet that allows you to vent the feet or even stick a leg out if you're feeling warm. It also has a vaulted foot box, which if you've ever had cold feet in a sleeping bag, it could be because your bag doesn't have a vaulted foot box. What this means is basically the bag has been sewn to allow room for your feet to stick up like they naturally would without compressing the insulation. On a regular bag, or actually I should probably say on a non-vaulted bag, your toes would push up against the bag, compressing the insulation and forming a cold spot. So if you typically have cold feet in your bag, you might look to see if you have a vaulted foot box. A couple other things worth noting is the tie-down loops that allow you to secure your bag to your sleeping pad. And they've also added room in the knees, which allow you to spread out a little bit without sleeping well, like a mummy. Now, one of the things that really attracted me to this bag is that it's completely made from recycled material. Everything from the down inside to the polyester shell has been recycled. Now, because it is recycled, it only has a 600 fill down, which isn't bad. It, it doesn't really affect the warmth of the bag. It just means the feathers are not as fluffy as an 800 or even a 900 fill down. And that's because most recycled down comes from old comforters and pillows and, and things like that where you just aren't going to find high loft down because high loft down is expensive and you don't really need it in your bedroom comforter. If you do want a high loft down, you're gonna have to go with a brand new product. 600 fill means it won't be as light as a higher rated fill. Basically, it takes more feathers to get the same amount of loft, which means more weight, but it also means that it's gonna be cheaper. Speaking of weight, this bag comes in at just under three pounds, at two pounds and 15 ounces, which for the fill power and the temperature rating on this bag is actually pretty good. The baffles are a boxed baffle construction as opposed to a sewn through construction. The difference is instead of taking two sheets of material, stitching them together, and then shoving some down in between, they actually sew a box, or actually more like a tube, to create the baffles. This design is slightly heavier because it uses more material, but it also helps prevent cold spots at the seams. Price. All in all, this is a really good bag at an affordable price. I paid right at $200 for this bag, and if you're in the market for a down bag, you will notice that there just aren't that many options on the market at this price point. Really, the only other bag under $200 that I've seen lately is the Cosmic 20 degree down bag, which has been my go-to bag for the last 10 years or so. And the Echo Tro 20 is slightly heavier, but it's also warmer and it has nicer features. Cons. Now you know I can't get away without talking about some of the cons. Some of the things I really don't like about this bag, this is a true three season sleeping bag, which means it'll perform best in the spring and the fall. But in the summer, it's probably gonna be too hot. If it's the only bag that you're gonna own, then this is a really good bag. But if you spend most of your time hiking in the summertime, this bag is probably gonna be too warm and a little bit too heavy for most of the hiking that personally I'm gonna do. Con number two, the stuff sack that comes with this bag is bigger than I'd like it to be and it's not compressible. 
it's not that big of a problem for me. I actually prefer to keep my bag in a compressible dry sack anyways. Con number three. Last on my cons list, this bag is advertised as having an internal foam pocket, which it does not. I have looked all over this bag. I've turned it inside out. I went over it inch by inch and there is no internal foam pocket. Internal foam pockets are actually pretty good for maintaining battery life on your phone. And I even used to hike with someone who had a nut allergy and she would keep her EpiPen in the pocket because it had to stay warm. I contacted the North Face about the missing pocket, but they have yet to respond to me about it. So there you have it, a high quality affordable down bag rated at 20 degrees. Tell me what you think about the Echo Trail 20 in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. That helps YouTube know that if you liked it, other people might also, and it helps give me a little bit more visibility. Be sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. And as always, thanks for watching.